Hey, you can't park that animal over there. It's illegal. Come on, come on. Do a baby, take a baby. Do a baby, take a baby. Do a baby, take a baby. I'm living my best life. Ain't going back to fuck with you now. I'm living my best life. Ain't going back to fuck with you now. I'm a little something different in the shop today. Uh, buddy brought his uh, Mustang GT 5.0 into the shop. Uh, this car is already has a few things done to it. Uh, today we are going to be installing some parts from Ford Performance. So what we're going to be doing today is installing a larger throttle body. Of course it has the adapter spacer that goes on as well. Uh, then uh, of course we change out this, uh, you know, it's kind of a cold air kit that helps draw in more, more cold air. One of the things that you do with the kit is you delete the sound tube, but uh, my friend here has already done that, so uh, you know you just plug this portion up off here, remove the hose, and there's a plug that goes on the firewall. Plug that off. But what's really cool about this, it has the data cable to reflash the PCM, uh, so it actually knows the changes of what's being added. So you just uh, you know get your laptop connected to the internet. You just go to performance parts.ford.com you set up your online account uh, of course the parts all come with a, a voucher ID so you get that all set up then you can actually over the internet reflash the PCM uh, so it actually knows the changes so get situated here so one of the cool things about this is unlike some manufacturers you can actually maintain your vehicle's warranty now this is all pretty easy stuff you know, the customer is fully capable of doing this, but uh, one of the caveats to installing these parts is as long as an ASC certified shop uh, performs uh, the work, uh, then it's covered under Ford's uh, manufacturer warranty. So if there's any issues whatsoever, it's covered by Ford nationwide, which is pretty neat. So, all right, so one other part that we forgot, <laughs> that I forgot was in the trunk is uh, that gets added on in this uh, kit is the uh, upgraded, uh, the larger intake tube, which comes with a new mass airflow sensor, which I'm sure is recalibrated for the additional airflow. Comes with a K&N filter. Uh, so everything's pretty assembled except for the filter. So just pop the filter on and just uh, get all that in there. So let's get started. Three, uh, air intake off. We usually take those all out in just one unit. So it's pretty simple. Just disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Then over here on this bottom backside here, is where the wire harness clips in, so just gently pull that out. There's all these, these little safety detents that are in these switches, or excuse me, these connectors. You just kind of pop that back a little bit, and then you can have the little detent here to get it out. So same goes here for the throttle body. So just pop that back, then squeeze the tab, and back it on out. So it's pretty simple, but yeah, with this, this one here, it faces down, so with it facing down, just don't go yanking on this thing. You want to actually get this thing down, you know, off of there. Because I'm not sure if uh, Ford sells this uh, pigtail or not. I would imagine it probably would be in the entire harness, uh, body harness on this car. So definitely that's uh, one thing to be careful of. All right, so the next step, now that we got that undone, got that whole unit taken out as just one piece. Before we go putting this intake tube in, uh, of course, you know, this uh, little air piece goes and just literally just pops in there. We Most likely I'll be able to just get all that in in one piece. If not, we can fish this in and put that in directly after it. But the next step is to get the throttle body off. So the, the hose clamp for this right here is a seven millimeter. So just uh, loosen the seven millimeter clamp uh, there's a couple little push tabs here. Uh, I like getting this one out of the way because then you're not putting any stress pulling this thing up. Uh, the PCV hose that goes from the uh, left bank valve cover over to the intake tube. There is some, uh, basically what this thing does here. You just uh, push this down and then over, and then you can pop it loose. So you don't want to go yanking on these either because if you do, then uh, you break it. And we definitely don't want to run the risk of breaking any parts that are on the valve cover or on the intake tube. So I'd imagine that's probably not cheap. So the next step, we're going to get the solder body off. These are eight millimeter. Then we'll get the adapter plate on. Okay, so this is what we're looking at throttle body wise. The factory one is 80 millimeters and we're bumping up to 87 millimeters. 
so this is the throttle body that's on the GT350. So definitely, I know there's a, you know, it's a different space here. So that's why you got to put the adapter plate that comes uh, with it down in, underneath this cable. So let me get that popped on there. The adapter on, got these little hex bolts in there, torqued down to seven millimeter, a seven foot pound, excuse me. Uh, you reuse the gasket that's on the uh, intake manifold side, just make sure it's clean. Uh, then of course, uh, install the adapter plate, put the gasket inside here uh, for the addition, you know, for the larger throttle body. But one of the things that I think is pretty neat that's well thought out, this adapter plate, as you can see, it is, uh, you know, it's concaved here. So it's a nice smooth transition from the, from the larger throttle body uh, to the smaller intake manifold. So that's just one thing that, uh, that I think is really nice and it's well thought out. So on to the next step. Let's get this throttle body on here and get the intake on. So the next thing we have to do is uh, trim uh, this uh, rubber here on the uh, air, air intake. You can see here in the instructions, uh, basically just uh, a slit on either side uh, at those points. So I've already kind of made a preliminary cut there and you can see the blade there. So we'll just bring that all the way down there. Makes a little flap. Uh, so it makes it easier for, to install that onto the vehicle. So we've got the throttle body bolted on, just got to get it torqued on, got the electrical connector plugged back in. One little thing that's not in the instructions, to get this uh, actually plugged in here, there's a harness that goes on this little stud here on the front of the timing cover. Um, it doesn't say you have to remove that, but there's no physical way to plug this in without that, without, with that there. So just pulled back on that before I plug this in, uh, then just kind of tuck the harness back here uh, out of the way. So. Don't know why that's not in the instructions, but uh, definite requirement. Otherwise, wouldn't be able to plug the throttle body in. All right, so we got the intake tube on. Uh, literally, like I said, that one piece clips into the box uh, that you made the, that I made the two little cuts in, and that just helps slip it over here, uh, the inside to, to where it goes on a little bit better. Uh, and once that's in place, you know, just put it on the throttle body side and line up the holes here for the 10 millimeter bolt for the uh, box stay. Then the last thing you do, there is a little harness um, right here. That's, you know, for the mass airflow sensor. There actually is a little retainer that you have to uh, use a uh, razor blade to slice off. Take that off. Let's see. Let me show you here. So this is kind of a little factory stay for the harness. So just uh, take a little razor blade and slice that off. Then in the kit is this... Uh, new retainer so it literally just kind of holds it up in place i think it's kind of unnecessary but you know hey it's in the instructions so we will install it then right here there's no hole made for the uh for this um uh wire harness stay that's on this side of the harness so they actually want you to drill into the box but rather than do that off the car just wanted to get everything lined up then just kind of mark where this is going to go and then drill uh Obviously, you don't want to go too big, too quick. Uh, I just got lucky in the first drill bit size that I picked was perfect. So, got that all on. Now, on the 15 and 16 Mustangs, you have to actually cut this hose, and there's a supplied T that goes in. But this one is actually bent perfectly, uh, and this is a 2017, so we didn't have to. So, literally just clip that in place. PCV hose here into the intake tube. Make sure all your connections are tight. Everything's plugged in. So... Last step is to clearance the engine cover. As you can see in this uh, photograph right here, you just got to clearance that just a tiny little bit. So I'm going to get this uh, kind of put in place, then we'll trim that out a little bit. We'll go a little bit at a time. You can always remove more. Can't put it back. So a little bit at a time on this one. So the next uh, clip here, we'll have everything installed, then we'll start on the uh, software side. All right, so we got everything installed, got the uh, engine cover trimmed up, got lucky and got it on the first try. So, um, man, my luck may be turning around finally. So everything's done. We'll get it all uh, the software side. Uh, that's going to be the next clip. So we're going to get all logged in there. Then I'll show you guys step by step on what's uh, required for that. So we followed the steps, followed the prompts, uh, turn the key off when it says turn off module power and then turn it back on. Then if everything goes as planned, you're going to get that right there, successfully programmed. All right, let's get this bad boy fired up.
Cowboy. Nowhere special. Nowhere special. I always wanted to go there. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 